Well, um, my wife's uh, engine to her 1988 um, TRX 250R. Um, basically, oh, I'm doing a pressure test right now. 6 PSI. It's been holding 6 PSI now for... Um, let me look at the clock. For 6 minutes now. And... The reason I took the engine out and took it apart is because I thought my, or I thought the trans bearings were bad on it. But I get the damn engine out in here on the table, side cover off. Trans bearings are fine. I mean, I basically I changed them anyway, but my this is where. I'm getting my rattle from right there. Man. Uh, you can't really see in the video, but man, that's loose. Like, no. I'm not sure if it's the bearings or, or what, but everything else is good. Brand new counterbalancer. Top end's brand new crank. Crank rods, brand new hot rods. Let's see where I'm at here. Still holding it. Six PSI. On a mile away. Yep. So. But this kind of sucked, but in a way, I ain't really worried about it because. I'm trying to unplug this stupid thing now. Get this air out. Damn. But it sucks. Because I took the whole damn engine apart again. After fully rebuilding it. Kind of wish I would have done trans bearings in the first place. But I rebuilt the engine for another guy. On his 250R. And his trans bearings were bad. So... Me being a nice guy, I just give him my brand new trans bearings. So I ended up ordering new trans bearings, pulling it apart, and I already had it out on a table and everything, so, and saw it was my clutch basket, but it was already out of the quad, just sitting here, so I figure I might as well split the cases and do trans bearings on it. So everything is brand new now. Well, obviously, except for my clutch basket. So, I have to do my clutch basket now. My sweet old pressure tester. I picked this up at um, Boost Gauge. I picked it up at um, Harbor Freight. I think for like 12 bucks. $12. I got these fittings right here from um, Home Depot to block off the front. I cut an inner tube, well, you can't really see, but I cut an inner tube and put it in there and just kind of tightened it down, not real tight, just snugged it up real good. But yeah, she's uh, pretty much done, you know, ready to go back together and ride it the way it is for now and just wait until I get a clutch basket and I pull the side cover back off, put a clutch basket on it. Just don't have the money now. It's fine. It just rattles when I pull the let the clutch out. It's just not real super loud, but man, it's just annoying and it just bothers the hell out of me. But it'll be fine until I find one. So whatever. I don't have. The, I got tissue paper. The piston is right there. Piston's there, but I have tissue paper and have the the rod taped off on the inside so it's not touching my cylinder walls but she's getting ready to go back together now a lot of people don't do stuff like this you know leak down test that's what all this is for you know you just take like a little tiny compressor like this you barely hold it you know just a tiny bit and get it up to six psi and some people will go up to seven or eight, but then you, you know, the higher you go, the more you risk blowing a seal out, you know, when your crank sails. 
So I just go up to six. I mean, if it holds six PSI for five minutes, you're good. So back together she goes now.